Hey guys, this is Roy Jack and I'm back with another video today. If y'all can not see from the title of the video, I'm here with my terrible dating life. So with that being said, two to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some stories of my terrible dating life. Uh, if you guys do not know, I am single at the moment, and if someone wants me, make that shit known, because I'm a grown ass man, and I don't got time to play games. That's the one thing I hate about being single, or the flirting stages, or whatever, is that it's like, if you want me, make that shit known. Make that shit known with your actions, the way you text me, the way you call me, the way you talk to me, all that stuff, because if I do not feel like I am wanted, all right, I'm just gonna go do my own thing, because I don't got time for games. I ain't finna sit around and play your games or play games with you because I'm grown I got things to do so basically what I'm trying to say is uh, if there's anyone that wants me let me know make that shit known if not I'm gonna do my own thing I got big boy things to do so in today's video I have four stories that I have on my phone that I've written down over these past maybe year maybe two years um, of terrible dates terrible dating experiences that I've had so these are all personal experiences these are not made up these are all legit and has happened with me. So get your popcorn, get your snack, get you something to drink because this is going to be an entertaining video. And to protect the girl's identity, I'm not going to say any of their names just to protect them um, out of respect. So I'm going to give them all names. They're all going to be Beckys. They're going to be Becky 1.0, Becky 2.0, Becky 3.0, and Becky 4.0 because I, I cannot come up with names. So those are going to be the names for today. So with all that being said, let's get started with the video. So to start off with the first story, I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory. So a lot of these girls that I've met have been met through dating apps. Like, I think mostly Hinge. Um, so y'all could definitely say my Hinge dating app experience has not been the best. But to start off with Becky number one, I'm gonna give y'all some backstories. She goes to Georgia State and I had to learn the hard way that like, you cannot trust a girl that goes to Georgia State. No offense to anyone that goes to Georgia State. Just from my personal experience, a lot of the girls that go to Georgia State are hoes. Let me take that back. I'm not going to say that they're hoes, but they just want to have fun and they don't really care to settle down, at least from the girls that I have experienced with. They may have said that they wanted to settle down, but from their actions, no. A lot of these girls that I messed with from Georgia State are not worth it. They were a waste of time, and but hey, I got a good story out of it, so yeah. So with that being said, the first girl is going to be a girl from Georgia State. And if y'all did not know, I go to Kennesaw State. And with that being said, so to start things off, she didn't have a car. She lived on campus, but that's not a problem because I drive. Georgia State is like 30 minutes away. I don't care about that. So we start off the date pretty well. I go pick her up. Um, actually, let me take that back. No, the date did not start off well. The date started off terrible with Becky one. Um, so basically what happened was... She didn't give me set directions of where to pick her up. I had to pick her up at the gas station at Georgia State. If you guys do not know the infamous racetrack at Georgia State, here's a picture. That's where I had to pick her up. And I was sitting there for at least a good 10, 15 minutes looking stupid as hell, fucking waiting for her to come. That was already like red flag one. And I was already annoyed at the point. I was like, what the fuck? She got me here and all that stuff. And I was just like, all right, whatever. Let me, let me just take that off. You know what I'm saying? Rough patch. You know what I mean? Let me just, let's try to have a good time. So we went to the bowling alley and on the way to the car, like on, on the car right there, um, like she was on her phone a lot. And I, 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 I understand that. Cause you know, sometimes you gotta be on your phone, text your friends, update y'all now. Cause you know, we were meeting for the first time. Gotta make sure like that she's safe and all that stuff. So I understand that. But once we got to the bowling alley though, and we were like playing, like there was like an arcade bowling alley. We were playing games at the arcade and then bowling. She was still on her phone the whole time. That's when I realized, I was like, okay, like, I mean, you safe, like, we ain't nothing happening, like, we supposed to have fun, like, I understand if you're taking pictures, um, that's cool not to have you on film, but, like, for me personally, if I'm on a date with someone, I ain't trying to be on my phone, because that's just rude, you wasting my time, it's like, we're supposed to create a genuine bond, have a genuine time, not be glued to your phone, and that kind of annoyed me, because I was like, why are you on your phone the whole time, like, what was the point of you even coming here, like, all that stuff, and with that being said, the whole time she was on the phone, she was making plans with her friends while we were on our date. So imagine how like that made me feel. I was just like, what? Then she had the audacity to say, can we hurry this up? And she said this and I quote, she said, hey, 
don't mean to be rude, but can we hurry this up? Like, how would you feel if a girl said that to you on the first date? Like, damn, it was like, that made me like insecure. It was like, well, it was the date that bad? Am I that bad of a person? Like, what the fuck did I do? Like, uh, as y'all can tell, my dating life is just shit. Yeah, and then she told me that, oh yeah, she made plans with her friends while we were on a date. And I was just like, damn. Like, it's like that? I thought we were having a good time, but I guess not. Clearly, I should have known she was on her phone the whole time. You know what? Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe it's not the Georgia State girls. Maybe it's not just girls in general. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the problem. Who knows? And then while I was driving her back, she asked if I could drop her off at Atlantic Station instead of Georgia State so she can go hang out with her friends. I was, I was over it. I just said, fuck it. And mind you, when I did drop her off, she didn't have the damn direction, so I had to waste my gas on this bitch. I wasted money on the date and fucking money on gas. Fuck that bitch. I'm not, I'm not saying all girls are bitches, but I'm just mad because that date was terrible. Um, just imagine, a, like, ah. I'm not saying that all girls are bitches, but just, I'm just saying from my experience with her, it was just a bad date overall. Um, I'm, I was annoyed, all that stuff. So basically, to sum things up, though, um, she was just basically on the phone the whole time and then made plans with her friends and basically ditched me for the plans so like she hurried our date up so she can go hang out with her friends and then yeah basically used me kind of that is story number one so story number two is going to be with becky number two so with this story to make a long story short it was basically a girl texting me mysteriously and then hid their identity from me so basically this happened about a year ago and I wish I still had a text messages um, but with me I have OCD so I have to delete all my messages whether it's in the iPhone, Instagram DMs or Snap I always delete my messages I just have OCD. Um, another example is like with my mail I know a lot of people have like thousands of mail I have zero because I have OCD I don't know that's one of my pet peeves OCD I don't know I'm weird. With that said basically like over last year I just got a text saying Hey, I, I want to like, it was like, I think they apologized for something or doing me wrong. And then they just said they loved me. And like, they were basically saying that like, I'm sorry that I did you wrong, but I love you. Um, all that stuff. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but it was just so random. Cause it was just like, they would not tell me who they were. And I got pissed that they wouldn't tell me who they were. Cause I was just trying to think like, who, who was it? Cause it's like, why are you wasting my time telling me all this information? If you ain't for to tell me who you are. So if the person who is watching this, if Becky 2.0 or Becky 2, um, if you're watching this, I would still, I'm still curious. Like, I don't care. Cause they were like, oh, I did you wrong. You would hate me if you found out my identity. And I was just like, who the fuck was it? And I, I even texted like my ex, I texted other people. I was like, is this you texting me? And like, I was like, is this a prank? This, I was like, this has to be a prank. Cause there ain't no way. Like, ain't no way that shit just happened. So, like, I was just thinking, like, what the fuck is going on? It has to be a prank. It has to be an ex. I texted my ex. She said, nope, it wasn't her. I was texting my friends and all that stuff. It wasn't them. So, I was just like, what the fuck is this? Um, they had no information. Like, they were just, it was just weird. It was just weird. If, like, whoever watching this, you weird. You weird as fuck for that. What the hell? Like, I was just trying to be cool, calm, collected. Uh, I don't know if that, I'm using the right words, but basically when I get random messages or when people DM me, I try to be nice. I try to be, you know, see what, like, you know, because I'm just a nice guy. I want to, like, you know, make them feel good, all that fun stuff. And I was just trying to see who it was. But when they would not tell me who they were, because I, like, begged them to let me know who it was. Because I'm going to be like, how the fuck are you going to tell me you love me and then not tell me who you is? And, like, the thing was, it wasn't even at nighttime. It was during, like, the middle of the day. So it couldn't have been a drunk text or anything. It was just random. That shit was so weird. And like, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like if they were upfront about it, things would be different. I like That's why I feel like that was a prank. I, there's no way that was real. I feel like that was definitely a prank. And But yeah, that's basically it. To sum up story number two, basically I get a random message um, some girl saying that they love me, that they sorry for what they did, wanted, they wanted to be with me but then didn't want to be with me, they hid their identity. Just a weird story overall. Just weird. That's basically story number two. And then so for three and four, they're going to be put together because these two are very, very similar stories. But let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see a part two because I do have a couple more story times with terrible dating experiences and also hit that like button now let me know if y'all want to see a part two because i'm not gonna lie i do have a couple more stories that i just came up while i was filming this video so for number three and number four for becky three and four these stories are very very similar 
kinda and not really. So to start off with Becky three, um, she also goes to my college, Kansas State University. We met on Hinge, and we met, and everything went well. We hung out like the first day we met. We hung out. We got food. We went to her place. We chilled. All that fun stuff. We did what we had to do, and basically. We had a good time, she was telling me one thing, and then, bam, like a couple of days later, she was like, oh, I'm getting back together with my ex. And I was just like, why are you gaslighting me? And then I, of course, I'm not gonna lie, I handled the situation badly, because I'm just like, how the fuck are you finna waste my time? Fucking say you want all this much stuff, like say all these things, and then go back to your ex. That's what pissed me off, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say she was the only one at fault, I'm not gonna lie. The way I handled the situation, I was a little butthurt. But I feel like I have the right to be butthurt, but I was very, very upset at the situation. Um, but it was just like, long story short, just don't fucking lie. Just be up front. And it's like, don't tell me one thing and then go do another. You know what I mean? Um, then again, I do apologize for acting the way I reacted. But I just feel like you did me wrong, so fuck you. Girl number four is basically kind of the same concept. Um, we met on Hinge. Everything went well. She lived like an hour away. I drove to her, we hung out, all that fun stuff. We had a good time, um, did what we needed to do, all that fun stuff. And then with that being said, we still talked to her a little bit after, but then all of a sudden she was just telling me that, oh, my parents won't allow us to date. So they want me to get back together with my ex, my ex this, my ex that. I'm, I don't know if I still have feelings for him, my ex this, my ex that. And I was just like, what the fuck? So you feel like she basically did the same thing as the other girl, as Becky number three. She basically just told me all these things that I wanted to hear, but then was like, oh, no, I'm gonna go back to my ex. Oh, no, my family wants to go to my ex. I was just like, why you waste my time, though? Like, and then I'm not gonna lie, I handled the situation pretty bad again, because I'm just like, what the fuck? Why are you fucking, like, lying to me? Just be up front. I don't give a fuck. I'm a grown ass man, I can handle shit. So I just wish that they told me that they were up front. So basically, to make a long story short, to recap number three and number four, they basically played with my emotions and went back to the exes. So to conclude the video, yeah, my dating life is not the best. So if there was any single females out there that want to like shoot their shot, you know what I'm saying? My DMs are open. But with that said, don't hit me up with some weird stuff like the Becky number two. Don't slide up and be like, I love you. And then don't and like hide your identity. Don't do, don't do that. Or don't gaslight me. I think that's the word. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. But like, don't say one thing and do another. Um, like Becky 3 and Becky 4. And don't be like Becky 1 and just be fucking rude the whole time. If you want me, apply pressure. Make it known that you want me. That's all I gotta say. But with all that being said, yeah, y'all can make fun of my dating life. I guess karma's a bitch. Um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? That's why I'm taking this summer to focus on myself, focus on my career, focus on school. Because on God... You don't need a girl when you got money. But I'm not gonna lie, I do get lonely. So I, I could like, you know, fuck. But I'm not gonna lie, I do get lonely cause it do get lonely sometimes. I definitely would like to start settling down with a girl and all that stuff. But also it's just like, I gotta put myself first, my career first, my self first, all that fun stuff. So right now I'm not really looking for a relationship, but if it does come, um, it happens, it is what it is. Not it is what it is. I'll definitely be happy if I get in a relationship. But, you know, as of right now, I'm not trying to force something. I ain't trying. I'm not on no dating apps. After my bad dating experiences from Hinge, I deleted Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, all them dating apps. Right now, I'm just focusing on myself because right now, I don't have time for unnecessary drama. Um, I'm just focusing on myself. You know, I'm trying to stay away from that. I'm really focusing on my goals, my career, my weight loss journey, my money, all that stuff. And it's like if... Something happens in a relationship, it happens. I ain't trying to force it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some laughter from this. Also, comment down below some of y'all worst dating experiences. And who knows, I might be able to make that into a video. Who knows? But we'll see. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boys out.